So if we know how Shazam recognizes its songs thanks to the previous video, go watch if you haven't please. But now the question is, if Shazam can recognize songs only, how the hell can Google recognize humming or whistling? How does that even work? How can it just hear your whistle or hearing your terrible singing or humming the song that's been stuck in your head for ages and just know which song it is? Well, the principle behind Google's hum recognition is kind of similar to the Shazam one, it uses the fingerprint technology and the spectrogram to work. But how does it recognize specific tones that you sing? It can't just match the whistling produced by you with some other song in its database, right? Well, actually, it can. See, this new technology was released in the similar time when Apple bought Shazam in 2017. It still uses the traditional spectrogram though, but obviously the spectrogram from your whistling will be different to the actual song spectrogram. So how is it gonna compare your spectrogram to the spectrogram of that song if it's completely different? How Google solves this problem is simple. It listens to your hummed song and then, based on your audio, converts it into its own little recording or fingerprints. Imagine Imagine it as another spectrogram with fingerprints created by Google itself. That one will then become similar to the spectrogram of a song we're looking for. Let's now look more deep into how Google translates your song audio to its own recorded tunes. But for this we need to understand how the spectrogram actually works. The spectrogram consists of random tones of frequency over time. The brighter the color on it, the more concentration of the frequency of a sound will be on it and vice versa. So for example an S sound, so S you will see the brighter concentration of frequency on the top, meanwhile the lower O sound, you'll see the brighter concentration on the bottom, because it's a lower frequency. Basically for each sound or letter in the alphabet, the specific frequency will be seen on the spectrogram for that exact letter or a sound. When you whistle a tune, for example, each sound of the whistle will have the specific image on the spectrogram. After your own spectrogram is produced by Google, it will then split every single different frequency on that spectrogram to its own little part. Then Google will use the tone generator to produce its own tones from each specific pitch of your own audio that it previously split. After that's complete, it will continue to work similarly to Shazam. It will compare every single frequency of, in my case, whistle to already existing specific frequency of sounds in Google's database. Well, this is all nice and easy, but what happens if you hum a melody that's very similar to another different melody? The technology cannot just recognize which song you're thinking of, so how does it still know? It's because it uses the thing called the triplet loss function. What this function does is try to ignore the parts of the music that don't match. Let's simplify this. Imagine you were looking to buy two red cars that look the same. Then then a friend of yours would show you the third car that looks the same, like the same model, except that this one is blue. Obviously, you only ignore the car your friend showed you because blue isn't the color you're looking for even though the model is completely the same. This is how Google Hum tries to differentiate the different melodies from one another too. Obviously, for Google Hum recognition, the more similar the melody is, the harder it is going to be for it to recognize the difference. So yeah, in short, whereas Shazam takes the part of already almost perfect recorded frequencies and compares it to other songs, Google first splits out every specific sound of your recorded audio on its own, generates its own little tune based on the split frequencies of the spectrogram and only then compares it to the song. It has to do this because your singing or humming isn't necessarily the exact frequencies of a song that you're humming of, so in that case it's a little bit more complicated than Shazam technology. Of course Google hum recognition still won't be 100% correct all the time, but it's still better at recognizing the earworms, as we like to call them, better than any other app out there. Now that this is all explained, how to actually use the hum technology? All you need to do is open the latest version of Google Apps app and tap the mic icon and say what's this song or you can click on search a song too and there you have it you can hum sing or whistle away now go find the damn tune that it's been stuck in your head for years already or even better watch another video of mine and perhaps even subscribe while at it